So I found out about the geriatric simulator and I thought it was just a perfect fit for us. We are um, a skilled nursing and assisted living facility company um, and so we have you know an elderly population oftentimes um, and so being able to use a product that would put students, nursing students, in the position of you know what our patients feel like was really important to me. Because it's such a struggle to help our, re our um, students feel what the residents are feeling, I think that's why a tool like this is so necessary. I'm big on teaching tools anyway, and whatever I can pull together for them, that's what I want to do. And this has been great. It's just so um, awesome to learn, you know, and you feel what a residence is going to feel when you're taking care of them. Like putting all the suits and all those things on your feet. Oh my god, that suit is so heavy. Even pouring water. Oh my god, that's really hard to do. You know, like walking, video game, oh, video walker and stuff. That was, that was, that was really tough. So I just realized how hard it is, um, how much energy you have to spend to um, just do these uh, very, very basic um, this thing which is just standing, uh, my knee was really stiff, I couldn't stand, I <laughs> needed to do it. So, yeah, um, I, I will really understand better the residents and understand what they're going through and be more patient uh, with them, definitely. Like I wish everyone that doing the CNA job needs to um, try those things that you guys let us try so that they will know how our residents feel. And it was really awesome. Um, the number one comment I typically end up hearing is just like, oh, my grandma has glaucoma. This is what she can see like. This is what it's like for her. And just that empathy, you know, that they can tie it back to their own life. One of the CNAs from my last class, one of the students, she decided she was going to try the stairs. Yes, try the stairs. She got down the stairs but then getting up the stairs, she had to call one of the other students, yell for one of the other students to come and help her get back up the stairs. You know, so I said, what a great, great feeling that must be to know that you learned something about your residents and the prospect of having to take stairs. You know, so that tells you, this is why our residents have to have ground floor apartments. They can't do stairs. This is why carrying groceries upstairs can be difficult for them. It isn't just in the nursing home setting that you're getting that perspective. You're getting the perspective of people outside and how they have to deal with the disabilities that they have and the limitations that might be created. So um, once again, it, it just comes down to a tool that can be so useful in um, helping them to have that light bulb come on, have that aha moment. And that's really what makes learning stick with people. When I can hands on, I can touch, I can do, I can feel and get that great feeling of empathy that is always a goal for my students. By the time they get done with their clinicals, I want them to feel that this is what it's going to be like possibly for you when you get older. You want to treat them as you yourself would want to be treated later on in life. And that's what I consider to be one of the most important facets of a nursing assistant course, is that empathy and that compassion. You can truly make a difference in the lives of our elderly by doing that. So.